Hey everyone, my name is Potato Batman, and I know a lot of you are probably wondering. Potato Batman, you're so cool and awesome. Have you met any other famous people in Rec Room too? And the answer to that is yes. Yes, I have. And today we're going to be talking about that exact thing. So let's start it off with my good friend Jay Brad. Even Jay Brad doesn't actually know how I first found him, or like, you know, like. You know, what the origin story of our great friendship was. So this all started back when I was a really, really, really small channel still. Probably, like, just coming up to 100 maybe. I think even less than that. Um, and at that point in time, I hadn't really, like, reached out to anyone or really knew any other YouTubers. Yeah, I didn't really know any other YouTubers, but I decided I wanted to kind of, you know, collaborate with other people because I thought that might be pretty fun. Anyways, that day I decided to go on YouTube and search up a rec room. Um, you know, just filter for videos and um, see what just came up, you know, I was just interested in see what I would find. And little did I know that uh, after I did all of that, that I actually saw this video from this dude named Jay Brat. I was really confused about who he was, but you know, I just, I wanted, I wanted views. And like, I looked at the video, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was one of his Rec Room community meetup streams or something. <sighs> Compared to what I was getting, that guy was getting views. And then I checked his subscriber count, and oh my goodness, he had subscribers, like he was already at 2,000 subscribers. I was like, oh my goodness, I want to yoink those. So anyways, I left a comment on that video or stream or whatever it was, and um, I was like, hey, you seem like a pretty cool guy. Want to collaborate? And he was like, sure, let's do it. And I was really surprised, honestly, with that many subscribers, I was honestly expecting him to just give me a hard pass. But, you know, he did it anyway, because he's a really cool dude. Um, <laughs> it was really awesome, like, Jay Brad is literally the best. Anyway, so I planned the collaboration with him. Uh, I'm, it was the Quest on a Quest where I featured him as well, and, like, you know, we did two videos together. One with uh, Crimson Cauldron playing with each other, and one with Golden playing together. And, you know, it actually, it actually went pretty well. Like, he was a super chill dude, super fun to hang out with. I had such a great time making the videos with him. Since we did split perspective on the video, it was quite hard to edit, but, you know, we took one video each, and we had a great time. After that, you know, me and Jay Brat, I uh, talked a little bit more, you know, um, you know, we've planned some other stuff together. It's been really awesome. And you know, since me and Jay Brad have done Two, so much together, we are now officially four. best don't friends. Anyway, so on to the next person. So back when the RecTuber Rally was still going on, I was able to meet so many new creators I didn't even know existed. You know, it was just, it was so cool, honestly. It was one of the best ideas I've ever had. Anyways, one of the creators that I got to meet because of the RecTuber Rally was one called Hey It's Greg. He's a really funny guy. I love like all the videos he uploads because they're funny. Anyways, back when I met him at the RecTuber Rally, I didn't, I didn't actually know who he was back then. He didn't know who I was either. Um, but we had just finished doing the first RecTuber Rally for the first week. And, I, you know, I was trying to coordinate uploads with everyone just to make sure that, like, you know, everyone uploaded the, the video of the event at the same time. Just so, you know, it'd be really cool. Everyone could, like, watch everyone else's videos at the same time. And, you know, it would just be super awesome. So, anyways, I was, I'm pretty sure I was just a bit too over-enthusiastic about everyone scheduling their uploads together. And on top of that, I think Hey It's Greg was not having the greatest day, alright? But, <laughs> Hey It's Greg was having a go at me in, in the general chat and the Discord that we were in, and he's like telling me off for like pushing the scheduling uploads like way too much, and um, yeah, it was just not a great time. Um, I was getting cyber bullied. It was terrible. No, I'm joking. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad. Um, after that, you know, I kind of just like didn't push it as much, but I still wanted it to get done. So. Um, I did still tell people to do it, but you know, that's that's a, that's officially how I met Hey It's Greg. Very cool guy, go check him out, go subscribe. But even with all of that, me and Hey It's Greg are officially best friends. Anyways, now we go into the big man himself, the man that does all of the quests. He's just, you know, the greatest at them. Bathia. So as most of you probably already know, 
me and Mathai have already done a video together. That one, you know, didn't turn out as well as I would have liked, only because, you know, it recorded as a square, uh, which isn't very helpful when you're trying to make a YouTube video, because, you know, it just looks terrible. But he still ended up doing the video with me anyway, so, like, it's just cool either way. I'm super surprised that he even accepted my uh, request to do a video together. Uh, it still shocks me to this day, but, uh, you know, I was, I was super hyped that he did. Hopefully, I can work together with him in the future some more because he's just honestly a super cool dude like after the video we hung out and played a couple other games together as well and honestly it was pog but you know that doesn't really prove our friendship together enough but you know what does prove our friendship Bethyra accepted my friend request on discord that's right boys me and Bethyra are officially best friends All right, guys, I died, all right? I'll admit I died. I actually died multiple times while trying to record this video. But you can't really blame me, all right? I haven't played this game for six months. I did pretty well for that amount of time of not playing and having like zero practice, all right? Cut me some slack. So I just thought we'd hang out in private rec center for the rest of the video so I don't actually have to do anything too difficult or spend like another 30 minutes trying to get back to where I was again. By the way, it's really cool that I added snowballs into the rec center, honestly, really cool. Anyways, this is the part of the video where we talk about the man, the myth, the rec room legend, Soul Fox Gaming, all right? You guys have no idea how cool this guy is, all right? I'm not even gonna tell you to go check out his channel, because if you've seen my channel, you've seen his. I'm not saying that the same, we make the same stuff, but like, if you had to search deep enough to find my channel, you definitely would have seen his channel. Honestly, really cool guy. Um, so the story of like how we met isn't like super impressive. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, I only messaged him a couple of times in on Discord, just trying to ask him if he wanted to do the Rec Tuber Rally with me when it was back when it was still an idea. I thought that if uh, you know Soul Fox helped me set it up, that we might actually get some bigger YouTubers uh, in there. It turned out alright even without him, but back then I was still trying to pitch the idea to him, so, you know, I, I, I was just, I was giving him my best shot, alright? Anyway, so I was just messaging him a couple of times on Discord, you know, checking up on him, saying like, hey Sol, you know, want to do the Rec Tuber Rally with me, it's going to be the super cool thing, please, please do it. He ended up like not being able to, you know, he's just, he's a busy guy, alright? You don't... <laughs> You don't get to where he is without being busy. Anyway, so he was unavailable, but it's fine, guys. You know, I, I didn't cry or anything at all. You know, wasn't upset by it a single bit. But you know, I did meet him in game at one point where like he did seem kind of interested about the Rector Borelli, but I think he was just too busy. So I was trying to show him one of the rooms that I had started to build. It wasn't finished yet. I just wanted to see, I wanted him to see it just in case, you know, he was like, oh yeah, you know what? I actually kind of want to do this. Um, I was, I was playing on screen on my iPad, messaging him while he was playing in VR, like talking to me. It was, it was not a great first impression, not gonna lie. But you know, <laughs> we still talk a bit now like he didn't end up doing it but we still talk a bit now you know maybe maybe me and Soulfox might do some more stuff in the future can't guarantee it not saying anything will happen but you know it would be pretty pog nudge nudge wink wink you know Soulfox if you're watching this video please 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 anyway so that's pretty much like the only time that I've like talked to slash met Soulfox other than that I've never seen him again in game but I have talked to him obviously messaging him on discord and stuff and boys you know nothing tops the discord friend request that gets accepted Accepted. And guess what? Soulfox accepted mine. I know, insane. And you know what that means? Me and Soulfox are officially best friends. Now on to someone who's maybe a little bit less known than Soulfox, but that doesn't mean that no one knows who they are. But Marisa. Boys, I don't know if you guys know who that is, but it's the person that goes, Give me your rec room best! Basically that person, she's a makeup pen person, you know, if you don't know who she is, uh, go check her out, she's really cool. Anyways, I've never actually messaged her before, but I did meet her in game once, which was really cool. Because I did know who she was at that point, and I did want to meet her, but like, I didn't know what she did ever. 
so I didn't know what I was supposed to do, all right? Um, but it was very cool because just randomly, I was just going to my friend to go hang out with him. You know, he's a builder as well, and he's met Marisa before, and I just thought, hey, you know, I like, I love hanging out with this guy. I'm just gonna go hang out with him again. You know, you know what you normally do on record. I didn't expect anything different. Anyway, I just loaded into the lobby, and I hear a very familiar voice talking. It wasn't my friends, by the way. Murray, sir, is just chill and have a conversation with someone else. I'm like, oh, oh, oh my goodness, this is insane. I just, I didn't say anything. Like, uh, this is all going on in my head. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my goodness, I, I really wanted to, like, talk and, and meet this person. It was insane. Anyway, I was just chilling there. I was just listening. I just, I just wanted to chill. And maybe after she finished that conversation, I might be able to say something. And yeah, I was just I was waiting there for a bit, you know, the whole a very long conversation. I, I was just, I was just, please talk to me after. Anyway, after uh, they were just talking for a bit longer, and then you know they kind of just stopped randomly. I'm, I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Uh, kind of looking around, nothing, nothing's really happening. And then they both kind of turn their heads and look at me. Kind of just wave my hand a little, like uh, you know, your your microphone doing that weird quest thing where it goes. <laughs> I was uh, oh. Okay, this is a great first impression. I just muted my microphone, dude. I was so embarrassed. I, I was so embarrassed. I wanted to meet this person. I wanted them to have a conversation with me. And the first impression of me is... I was, I was actually fuming. But it was fine, you know, she was chill. I just muted my microphone. Switched it to push the talk. Um, and then I, I kind of apologized. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. Oh, I was simping. I was I was literally simping. All right. Anyways, very interesting story. Not really. That was that was realistically the only thing that happened. She didn't end up talking to me afterwards. That was the only thing that she uh, heard me say the entire time, which was really upsetting. But it's fine, boys. We got to meet Marisa in game. That's enough for me. And after the many experiences we've had together, I'd say that me and Marisa are officially best friends. So now onto the final person for this video, Gecko VR. Gonna be honest, never messaged the dude, never seen him in game. And you're probably wanting, Potato, why are you talking about him then? Well, the thing is, I have actually messaged him. He just never responded. I can't guarantee that where he's seen the messages or not. I'm pretty sure I've seen him. I'm pretty sure he's just ignored me. But you know, he's probably a really busy guy. Anyway, it's fine. I messaged him a couple times and, uh, you know, yeah, again, didn't get a response. Pretty sad. Um, but, you know, Gecko VR is a pretty chill guy. He's really cool. I'm sure if I met him in-game, he'd love me. And, you know, we'd officially be best friends. Quick disclaimer, if your name wasn't in the video, that doesn't mean I hate you. I just needed a funny story to put in the video. I'm pretty much best friends with everyone that I meet, so don't worry about it. If you weren't in the video, it's fine. Anyways, bye nerds, I'm gonna go do more cringy things. Bye!